Hello and welcome back to Court Farm. Before I get into today's episode, uh, just a, a quick one from me. Um, we recently hit 50 subscribers, but it has uh, occurred to me that we're only getting about 60% of the, uh, sorry, 40% of the views and watch time are actually from subscribed uh, viewers. Doesn't cost a thing and really helps us out. If you enjoy watching my videos, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment. I'm quite, uh, well, it'd be doing me the world of good and a real favour. But, anyway, to get into this, we're actually taking the uh, fertiliser spreader down to the shop. We're going to sell that and we're going to upgrade to a sprayer. Then when we get back, we're going to spray herbicide on the field of rye that we planted last episode and then we will be going and doing some silage in our grass field so yeah I will see you when we get to the shop and we will choose a sprayer so we have arrived at the shop our sprayer will bring us 19,000 back which is nice that's going to pay for quite a lot of the sea and spray for our herbicide and our spreader jump over and let's see what we can get so we established there's nothing in the sale in the last episode the time hasn't moved on so we'll be looking really at well if we're going to buy that we may as well buy the basic well the precision farming john deere one so Hmm. What do we want? I really think we should go with this that uh, I mentioned in the last episode. Especially in black. It will match the uh, doit quite well. Okay. So we will buy oh, with the sea and spray. Quite expensive. £74,500. And we will buy the tank as well for the front in black again okay and we will need some more herbicide it's something that we've actually run out of I should think we only need one okay let's get back in that uh, new hole oh, I shouldn't have put the <laughs> shouldn't have put the front weight on I will have to uh, drop that and come back for it later. So, drop this by the gate. Wonder if we can just refill this. Oh yes. It might actually hold the whole lot. No, it won't. So, I will get this refilled. And uh, I will meet you at the field that we need to do. Okay, so this is the rye field we planted last time. It's absolutely, absolutely looking, looking absolutely fine. Uh, we just need to get rid of these weeds. So that is exactly the plan for today. This is quite wide. Okay, let's get it switched on. Beautiful. Right, so this is a nice quick job. So this will be a, hopefully a nice quick time lapse unless something goes drastically wrong, which, let's face it, it is me, so it could well happen. But I will see you hopefully when this job is done.
Ran away with my life fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And our team was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. Is this Something from nothing. I sit here looking for an answer. Maybe the biggest question was in the last chapter. You gave me the soul I have today. Without you, I never could have moved away. But now I see what you teach. I do believe I always should have stayed. Yeah. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. Okay, so that's the weeding nearly finished, just this tiny little spot left in the corner. And then once we've done that, we will go and get the doits and we will attach the mower and the rower. And then after that's mowed, we might actually go and look at trading our baler in or even keeping our baler and renting a baler slash wrapper. But that is for that. Done! Now let's go and get the doits. Okay, so that is the a wall. Nobody saw it. That's the mower and the rower picked up. Let's see if we can actually uh, get through this without hitting anything else. Excellent. Right, so we will be turning this into silage. Have to sell, have to, uh, have to give to the cows. Once them grass bales are gone, that's it. I don't think we'll be doing any more just grass bales for them. Uh, and we'll go back to buying potatoes or carrots or something for their moisture food. These fields next to us and in front of us are growing nicely. So we'll get this cut and then we'll think about getting, or at least rent one, a, uh, a new baler. Okay, so we are lowering down now. Excellent. I'm not expecting this to be brilliant because like a uh, complete and utter um, novice, we'll say, I forgot to fertilise this field. So it, it won't be the best it's been. But we shall get it cut and mowed anyway because we, we're going to need it either way. But we will be fertilising it for the next time and we will get this cut and I'll see you when we're there
Okay, so we're coming to an end of the mowing. This is the last bit. Hopefully we're, we're probably just not wide enough thinking about it, but we're close. Oh, we're going to leave a bit. Oh well. Right. So, as I was saying, I do want to rent a round baler. Round bales are not something we've actually done on this series yet. And uh, if the baler wraps them as well, it's a bonus. So, let's run this up to the yard and have a look, see what they've got in the store. If there's anything that really strikes us as, boy, use as what we want. So I'll see you up at the yard. One second. Okay, so we're up at the yard. Nothing's updated in the sale yet. It's still a little bit early in the day. So balers. Really, the options. This massive Ferguson, which could be quite good, but again, 150 centimeter bales. They'd be okay. It's not a problem. Uh, there's a fence exactly the same as that massive Ferguson. You've got the usual potting uh, pottinger one. And these are the net wrap mod bales as well, uh, balers as well. If I was to choose one, I think to be fair, I do like the look of the Massey Ferguson one. But we've also got the ro uh, class rolling uh, uni wrap as well. If it'll load, it will. Again, this only does 125 centimeter bales though, so really they're getting into very small territory there for balers. But one thing we can do before we decide to choose a baler is we can see if there's any contracts. So we can at least make some money or some extra money out of it. Uh, no, he wants. We've we got something really good. Uh, it looks like most of them want hay. That one's a silage contract. Field 127. Maybe if we could find one on 107, that's nice and close as well. 107 or 106. Let's have a look. Oops. One oh six and one oh seven. That wants it Ted in. Hmm. We do have all the equipment to do that. I could just let a worker go on it. Yeah. I'll accept that contract. We don't need the rower yet, so that can go. I'll put it in the if I can get it in there without you know crashing. I'll put it in the pit. I've already done a really bad job of it, so Field 107 for the contract. I would like to say I will quickly send this down there and get the worker doing that contract, earning us some extra cash, which is always going to be very useful. This actually might be a job for cosplay. Let's give it a try. Actually, it'll want to go clockwise, so we'll turn it round. <laughs> Let me give it a go. I'll be back if I manage to get it working. Or not. Excellent. It's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Right. Instead of renting a baler with a uh, with a wrapper on the back, we'll just rent a wrapper after we've baled the field. So we'll go and get the New Holland and do that. Hopefully that work can continue quite happily. Okay. That's our baler attached with half a bale of half half a hay. I don't know what that'll turn into. It's 
possibly going to turn into a grass bale. We'll have to wait and see. So let's get down there and we'll actually see the uh, the Deutz working in the field because it's pretty much next door to where we'll be working which will be nice to see as well. So uh, unfold. Oops. And we are going. Yeah, let's actually turn it into grass. Uh, wet grass. Have I not conditioned? I've done it wrong again. I bet you. Hopefully the wrapper will take care of it. <laughs> oh no. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Right. I will continue uh, bailing this field up. Okay, so we're coming towards an end of this now, and that um, cosplay is doing a cracking job with that Deutz going around there. So we'll have to be setting up the tether in a minute. But I'll finish this off, and uh, I'll be right back with you. So we're back, and it looks like the Deutz has finished that um, course place finished exactly the same time as we finished bailing so we'll get the tether put it on the doits and get that back on uh, get that back on a worker and uh, then we'll go and rent a rent a bale wrapper okay so let's run down and get that doits is this actually growing no it's still in harvested hmm might have to do something with that soon. I might just replant it as a, a, a different crop, maybe. And then again, it's very useful for the cows having that for uh, hay. But 
but we'll see. I'm sure this will be getting used again very shortly, so we'll plonk that against this wall just for now. And we will jump into the shed, get the tether, and get it open on a worker. Okay, so we are back at the farm. I'm just going to make sure this will actually wrap a bale. Looks like it's good so far. And as you can see, the uh, course playing is getting on really well with that. So what I think I will do here is, this is going to end up quite a long episode if I continue. So what I will do is make this like a two-part episode. And we'll finish all this wrapping and finishing that contract in the next uh, episode so I might put an extra one out this week we shall see but if you enjoyed watching please like comment subscribe as I said at the beginning the 60% of uh, viewers are, are not subscribed currently to the channel so I will see you next time goodbye <laughs>